Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be going over the bracket again. This is going to be round two. This is going to be my second bracket prediction video, and um, have made a few changes for upsets going on now. I'm trying to narrow it down to probably more specific upsets and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with Florida, obviously. Um, I'm not. I, I well, we'll get to, we'll we'll get to that later. Pittsburgh. I'm sticking with Pitt. Colorado. I think if they had Spencer Dinwiddie, I would be more apt to choose them. I'm still sticking with my Stephen F. Austin and my Tulsa pick, but this time, no, I'm still gonna go with Tulsa. Stephen F. Austin is good. They're really good. Thirty-seven and two. Like I, I wouldn't want to play them. Thirty-seven and two. That their losses are to Texas, Towson, or no, they beat Towson. They lost to Texas, which is not an awful loss for a non-power conference team. I don't know what the other loss was, but um, by losing to Texas, that doesn't really put me off to to pick them as an upset. So I'm going to stick with Stephen F. Austin. And Tulsa does have some bad losses. You can see Oklahoma. They beat Southern Miss, Creighton, and Wichita State. They lost by 23 to Wichita State. Manning has them playing amazing. I think they're on like a 10-game winning streak. They've, they've at least won 11 of their last 12, so I, I do have no problem picking them. Um, and then I'll move Florida to play Tulsa and move Florida past Tulsa. So that, that, that part pretty much stayed the same. Down here, Ohio State and Syracuse. I'm getting close to wanting to take this matchup, the Western Michigan-Syracuse. I'm getting close to wanting to take uh, Western Michigan over Syracuse. Western Michigan doesn't have anything hugely qual like a quality win. New Mexico State, I guess. But Missouri played them close. Missouri didn't make the tournament, though, so it, it gets, it's, it's a little it's questionable. Uh, and Syracuse is playing awful. Seven of the last five, they lost the uh, lost in the ACC tournament to NC State. And uh, but I'm gonna stick with Sy Syracuse, even though my gut is telling me Western Michigan, New Mexico, and Kansas say the same. But this time, I think last episode I picked Kansas. So I'm going with their big guys to take down Kansas, hit the upset because no Joel Embiid. I think that's a problem. And I think they escape. I think Aaron Kraft um, does good, and I think he uh, he shuts down Tyler Ennis. And I think the Buckeyes, who have been struggling, they did play Michigan good because Michigan Michigan just played awful in that tournament. I feel like they they barely beat Illinois. They choked both leads in both the Illinois and the um. What am I trying to say? The Illinois and the Ohio State games, but they ended up winning, and then they just performed awful against Michigan State. And I'm going to take Ohio State over New Mexico, uh, moving Ohio State to what? I think it's third or fourth straight Elite Eight, but they're not going to make it to the Final Four. Florida's going to stop them like Wichita did last year. Moving down to the East Bracket, Virginia over Coastal Carolina. I'm switching to George Washington over Memphis. Sticking with my pick of Harvard versus Cincinnati is a pick that I'm going to make solely based on almost everyone that I know picking Michigan State to win it all. I'm picking Delaware. I'm picking the Blue Hens because I want to be different. And I'm picking Delaware to beat Michigan State because Michigan State is getting hyped, overhyped, I have a feeling. And I know what? I'm taking the up. I'm, I'm taking the upset. Delaware over Michigan State. And then Harvard advances. This happened last year. It was LaSalle and Ole Miss, and I forget who the other 12 and 13 seeds were that advanced, but it happened last year. Two of them did it, and I'm picking two of them this year. And uh, Virginia over George Washington. <laughs> I'm pick Providence over North Carolina. Providence coming off the uh, the Big East tournament win. Um, and North Carolina got punched in the mouth by Pittsburgh at the start of that game, and it was just over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh got ahead, and it was just it was just done. Uh, Iowa State over NC Central. Still sticking with UConn. Even St. Joseph's is kind of UConn on my uh, on how I'm looking at them. So St. Joseph's in a future bracket maybe beating UConn, but Villanova's going to take out Milwaukee. Even though Milwaukee did have a quality win over a uh, Wisconsin with against Wisconsin Green Bay, they did beat them twice. And Wisconsin Green Bay is a really good team. They're one of the teams that kind of got snubbed and make the field, but I don't know who I'd take out. SMU would get in before Green Bay, so. Um, and I could only see removing BYU. So, but I feel like they did deserve the tournament, but there just wasn't a spot for them. Uh, Iowa State over Providence and Villanova over UConn, and I'm going to take Villanova over Iowa State and Virginia over Harvard. 
putting the one and two seed, not something that I usually do. Up here, I've got the one and the six, and here I have the one and the two, and Virginia will not be the second number one advancing. I'm going to stick with my pick of Villanova. I think Villanova is underrated. I th they're either going to come out and perform admirably like I expect them to, or they're going to curl over and die in a ball like my last two number two seeds that I had predicted. Like my, If they end up like those, I'm just going to stop picking number two seeds. I'll just be done with two seeds. Uh, over here, I've got Arizona, Oklahoma State. I really want to pick this, this North Dakota State over Oklahoma. I'm thinking about long and hard. They did beat Western Michigan, a good Western Michigan team that made the the, the tournament. Delaware, they beat them by 19. They made the tournament. The bad loss to Ohio State by 17. Uh, Southern Miss, they played them. Got Southern Miss with another team that had a chance to get into the tournament. Um, I, I'm not really going to look at the body of work from Oklahoma because I just I, I've watched them. I know how good they are. But I'm going to stick with Oklahoma for now. But North Dakota State is getting close to, to hopping in there and taking the upset. But San Diego State's going to be there. I'm going to take Baylor over Nebraska. I'm I'm in uh, I'm over I'm controversy about this one too. Tron Petaway, uh, I I just think Baylor has more weapons, and if they come out and play correctly, um, I th I think they should easily take it. Uh, this one I'm going to get. I'm going to take them to upset Creighton. I'm going to take them to to beat Doug McDermott, even though you look at these bad losses. Louisville by 39 points, Baylor by 19, Arkansas by 13, beat Louisiana Tech by 9, but I don't know. There's just a part of me that feels like this Louisiana Lafayette will take them out. Alfred Payton is an amazing player um, on a subpar team. Think of it as like a poor man Stephen Curry on Davidson, if you remember that. Uh, that that's what it kind of remember reminds me of, and I feel like he's got a shot to take down Creighton. And anyway, um, I'll get that Oregon and then Wisconsin. I'm sticking with those, and then I'm taking the Oregon upset. I think Oregon is a miss. It, it's just a bad matchup for Wisconsin. Sometimes you just get those in the tournament. You just get an unlucky matchup, like over here with New Mexico and Kansas. Kansas just gets a bad matchup because New Mexico is bigger because they don't have Joel Embiid. So they get kind of screwed because New Mexico is bigger, and they're going to take advantage of the fact that Kansas doesn't have Joel Embiid. Matchup against Wisconsin, I think they move on. The reason I picked Louisiana Lafayette to have the upset is because I was going to pick Baylor over Creighton anyway, so I might as well take the risk on an upset So because I think Baylor's zone would just shut down Doug McDermott, so I don't, I don't even think it's a competition there. I think Baylor would walk, would cakewalk past Creighton if it happens. Watch me be wrong. Watch Creighton just absolutely destroy Baylor. <laughs> Um, Oklahoma State over Arizona. I still like Marcus Martin, Mark Help Brown, and LeBrian Nash versus Aaron Gordon and Nick Johnson. No, if Brandon Ashley was with Arizona, I think Arizona would make it to the Final Four easy. But they only have the triple scoring threat, and Arizona does struggle to score at times without Brandon Ashley. So I think Oklahoma State will score plenty. Uh, I, I feel like Oklahoma State could beat Arizona by upwards of 10 to 20 points. Uh, but I, I don't think it will be because I think Arizona is able to defensively hold them. I think maybe Marcus Smart or LeBron Nash, not Marco Brown, but Marcus Smart or LeBron Nash get into foul trouble and it keeps Arizona in the game. I'm going to take San Diego State over Oklahoma. San Diego State is a good team. They should have beat New Mexico State, or New, not State, New Mexico today, for or yesterday, sorry, um, for the, my brain is still working like it's still slow. I don't even know. But uh, they should have beat uh, New Mexico yesterday. But they didn't, and so I'm going to take my boys, the Oklahoma State Cowboys, or San Diego State, to the Elite Eight. And this was a hard one for me, Oregon or Baylor. And I'm going to go with Baylor. And uh, the reason I have this bracket, that or this um, the west part of the bracket, why it looks so weird, if you look at um, brackets, there's always a bracket that's not how it should be. It's not like... None of the brackets ever look like they probably should be. Like, look at look. These almost are exactly the same if you look at it. Because I got Oklahoma State, Florida. I got the six and sevens. But uh, I'm gonna take Oklahoma State Final Four. I'm sticking with them. My boys and the Cowboys. I, I'm trusting them. I'm I'm taking them. And so this one, this this is a tough one. I am going to take Cal Poly and Texas Southern. I feel like Cal Poly. Is, you know, I don't actually think that, but I want to take them. And my gut is telling me to take Kansas State. I just have that feeling about Marcus Foster. I just feel like they should win. I just, I don't know. that You you ever just get that feeling when you're filling out your bracket or you're uh, picking a game or something like that, and you just have that feeling that team is going to win? I think Kentucky is the better team. But I feel like Kansas State is going to win. But I am going to take Kentucky. 
for now, and then Kentucky passed Wichita State, but I'm picking Cal Poly because I want to be that guy that when a one seed actually loses, I want to have it on my ESPN bracket, so that's happening. I'm taking NC State. I think TJ Warren should get past Xavier, even though Xavier is a good team, but they got kind of, they got, they got unlucky with the NC State draw. Uh, so NC State takes that. Louisville over Manhattan. I'm going to take Tennessee over UMass. I think Tennessee easily takes it over Iowa. Iowa struggling. Unless Roy Devin Marble just all of a sudden turns it on um, and plays like they were earlier, they don't stand a chance against Tennessee. And here we go. My signature, signature upset of the tournament. It's what I'm looking for. It goes along with my Delaware, Michigan State. I'm picking Mercer to upset Duke. Um, I'm just... I. I always want my brackets to be different. I don't want to take the consensus regular picks. I want to go a little bit off the wall, a little bit different. So when, so I usually win my brackets against people anyway, but uh, I like to take some off the wall picks that most people aren't going to take. So it gives me a little bit of an edge if they actually do win. Um, and I'm willing to take these risks in the initial rounds if I can see, all right, I'm going to pick this team to win anyway. So why don't I take the upset shot here and not the conventional pick? So Texas over... Uh, Arizona State, and then Michigan over Walford. Um, Michigan then over Texas. But Texas does have the ma mismatch with Cameron Ridley, but I do think Michigan's just uh, too skilled on offense for Texas to handle. I'm going to take Tennessee over Mercer, but it would have been Tennessee over Duke. I think Tennessee has that capability to beat Duke. That's why I'm taking them. That's why I'm really taking Mercer, even though I want Mercer to win. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I just have that feeling Mercer's going to come out and upset Duke. I'm going to take Louisville, and then a nice Louisville-Kentucky matchup, but Louisville's going to take that. And we're going to get that rematch of the national championship, Michigan-Louisville. You know, I really want Michigan to win, uh, but I, 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 just, I just don't know. I can't, I'm, I, if you look at it, Michigan's, I guess, good losses, I'd say. Arizona and Duke and Iowa State, because Iowa State's a three seed. If you look at their losses... Those are three or four or five good losses. The bad loss to Charlotte, which I don't know why isn't it on here, because Charlotte's awful. That was a terrible loss. Uh, the loss to Indiana, that's not a very good loss. And who was the other loss to? It was out of conference. Uh, I have no idea. That's five. Charlotte and Indiana. I don't. There, there's another bad loss in there. I think well, it may not be terrible, but it, it, there's another loss somewhere. Um, and then Louisville, the best team in the country, by my, um, what am I trying to say? By my, uh, in my opinion, they are the hottest team, and I just can't. I, I gotta pick them. I gotta go with Louisville, and then this, this is the, t this is a tough game. Uh, Florida and Villanova and also Oklahoma State, Louisville. I'm so torn on these. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Florida and Scotty Scotty Wilbekin, and I'm gonna take the upset. I'm gonna move Marcus Smart, Markel Brown, and those Oklahoma State Cowboys to the national championship. Where, you know what? For this one, this isn't my final one. So you know what? Oklahoma State's gonna win it all. Oklahoma State is going to win it all in a 75, yeah, seven, they're going to score 756 points. 75 to 74. Gay, oh, wait, I, I messed it up. 75 to 74. Oklahoma State wins it. I don't know. This is probably, this isn't my final bracket for sure because I still have to sit here and I still got to, also got to contemplate both the Villanova, Villanova match, um, uh, and the Louisville-Michigan, that's really the big one for me is Louisville-Michigan. I think I'm pretty much set on my final four, minus Louisville-Michigan, and maybe Baylor over Oklahoma State. But, yeah, this is my second bracket. We will be uh, we'll be going over the next one. We'll be going over um, well, it'll be bracket number three. I might even do it today. I might have two brackets up on the same day, depending on if Ultimate Team releases anything. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.